Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to convert your images, whether that's PNG or JPEG, to the WebP image format. Now, if you're not familiar, the WebP image format is a modern next-gen image format created by Google that does a really, really good job at compressing images. We're gonna see that in this tutorial, so if that's something you're interested in doing, let's take a look. Okay, so um, right here I have a web server running at this IP address and basically there's just two pictures in it right now. One of uh, a rice patty, which looks like this, and that is 8.2 megabytes in size, and one that is a YouTube thumbnail that looks like this, and this one is 209 kilobytes in size. So we're gonna manually convert these images from a JPEG and a PNG to WebP format. And we're gonna do that with a set of tools that Google has released. Um, you can do this on Windows, Mac, or Linux. And the tutorial today is gonna to be for Linux. We're gonna be using Ubuntu, but you know the process here, the command line utility that we're gonna be using will apply to any operating system that we're on. So let's go ahead and do that. I am logged into the server that my images are hosted at and actually we can see that here inside uh, this directory we have a picture directory and inside the picture directory we have those two images and you don't have to be on a, a server to do this you can do this on your mac you can do this on your windows computer locally this is just for demonstration purposes okay so enough of that out of the way how do we actually convert these images well there's um actually over here in uh, this website, which is developers.google.com, you might have heard of it, they have the source code and the, the pre-built binaries that we can use to do the conversion. And you'll wanna check for the latest version in here. We're gonna be using version 1.1.0 in this tutorial. Um, but on this page, which I'll have linked down below in the description, there will be this link where you wanna scroll down to the bottom and see what the latest version is here. We're gonna be using version 1.1.0, like I said. So I'm gonna use my little cheat sheet over here to copy the command that we're gonna execute in order to pull down those libraries. And that's just gonna look like this. We're gonna use wget to get the tar file at this location for Linux specifically. Okay, so go ahead and do that. And now we have that on our server. And just to confirm that's the case, we can uh, go back here and refresh the page and you'll see that now that's in that location. So we're working in the same location here. Okay, so now we have to just extract that. So we can do that with tar-xz, oops, z, v, f, and then the name of the archive file. And that's gonna create another directory called um, libwebp-1 dot one dot zero Linux x86 64 and if we refresh the page again we can see that's the case over here so we're done with the tar file we can remove that and I'll go ahead and do that here and now we can actually because these come with uh, pre-built binaries like I said we can see them in this directory and in here you have uh, bin directory docs lib and a readme um, inside the bin directory is where all of our programs are going to be located and in this one today this tutorial we're going to be using the c web p um, program which i th i think stands for compress web p and the d web p is decompress so if you want to convert to web p you're going to use the c web p command and if you want to convert from WebP to say PNG or JPEG, you can use the D WebP program. Okay, so that's good. Um, let's go ahead and convert one of these images. So how are we gonna do that? Well, we're gonna use a relative um, command here, meaning just dot slash, and then we're gonna type in the location of that binary file. So that's gonna be the name of the directory slash bin slash C WebP, and then we're gonna pass it a parameter called dash Q, which is quality. And the, the it seems like the widely accepted um, quality value that is standard is 80 out of 100. So we're gonna try that one first here. And then we're gonna give it the path to the file that we wanna convert, so picks. And then we're gonna do the thumbnail first. And then um, you can leave it like this, but I like to specify an output with dash O. And then we're gonna put that also in the picks directory we're gonna call it thumb.webp. So go ahead and hit enter, and that should 
be pretty much instantaneous. So we'll go back over here to our pix directory and now we have a thumb.webp image which right off the bat here is 39 kilobytes in size versus the 209 kilobytes in size of the original. So let's take a look at that, what that looks like. And, you know, as far as I can tell, um, th this is a loss, uh, uh, lossy, meaning there is um, loss of quality in the image conversion, but from, you know, any human eye, that image degradation is you know, not even noticeable. So this is the converted one and this is the original one. So they look very, very identical. And for a, a savings of, let's see, we got a calculator here, um, 39,000 divided by 209. So you're looking at, that's 82%, 81.5% um, reduction in size. So that's really cool. Okay, let's uh, let's move on here and do the conversion for the JPEG file. This one is the big one, 8.2 megabytes. So we can do something very similar. We'll give it the path to the binary file here in the bin directory cweb dash q80, and then pics for the uh, directory of the image and rice.jpg. And then the output file we want to give here is in that directory as well. And then we're going to call it rice. And this time I'm going to do dash 80 um, dot webp. This because we're going to do a couple tests here. We're going to do it with quality 80 and work our way down and see how it compares. So go ahead and do that conversion. This one will take a little bit longer because it's a much bigger file, but it's not long at all. It's already done converting. If we come back over here and refresh the page, we'll see that file here. And we went from 8.2 megabytes to 2.4 megabytes. Let's take a look. How does it look? And it looks, in my opinion, fantastic. We'll go back to the original, and that's the original. I can't tell the difference. I don't think you can tell the difference either. Let's, um, like I said, let's step this quality down a little bit. Let's go down to like 50, okay? So I'm gonna name the file rice-50 and change the quality to 50. Hit enter, do the conversion. And when we come back over here, we can refresh the page. We'll see that new file. Now it's, close to half the size, 1.4 megabytes. We'll open it up, we'll take a look, and you know, we didn't zoom in yet on the other ones, but this is this is what it looks like from, from full frame here. It's not, um, I can't detect any difference from that and the original. And I like to, to push the boundary here, so I'm gonna go all the way down to a quality of one, the lowest quality possible. So we're gonna call this rice-01 with a quality um, number of one. And we'll see what this one looks like, how big it is. Come back over here, refresh the page, 350 kilobytes, okay? So let's open that up, see what it looks like. And I, I'll i admit, I can see some, uh, I don't know what to say, like smoothing here. It looks a little pixely for sure when you zoom in. Um, but, you know, the gist of the picture is still there from, from a distance. Like, at first glance, if you're not studying this, this looks pretty decent. And then we'll compare that to the original pro, or the original uh, image here. And this one's definitely more crisp, especially when looking at the house and in this area too. Um, but it, I think it's really cool. Like, uh, if you just stick with the standard 80, um, quality of 80 for your, your WebP conversions, you're gonna have a very good conversion. Let's see what that one is. So 2.4 megabytes divided by 8.2 megabytes. So that one's a 70% um, reduction in file size with a quality of 80, which is in most cases undetectable by the human eye. So um, yeah, that's, that's everything that we set out to do today. We learned how to download and install the WebP utilities, command line utilities. We used the, the CWebP um, uh, binary to convert PNGs, JPEGs to WebP file format. Um, I think that's about it. So if you guys have any questions about this topic, 
let me know in the comments below. I'll have the resources to the downloader link in the description as well as um, I'll just have a, a small blog post associated with this so you guys can follow through copy and paste commands as you need it. Um, any questions, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me along the lines of uh, optimizing images, web hosting, stuff like this, subscribe to this channel. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.